What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Today we have Skittles, an iPhone 10, a slingshot, some safety goggles. Watch this. This is my snack box. Look at all the Skittles in my freaking snack box. Wah! Today we're gonna find out if a Skittle has what it takes to shatter an iPhone 10 display when launched in a slingshot. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. All right, do you think this Skittle will shatter that iPhone 10 display? Post your opinion in the top right. I think yes. I believe in the Skittle, though the thing is when it hits, there's a good chance the Skittle's gonna kind of like explode into pieces. I think it'll still damage the display. I have no idea. Let's find out. Here we go. Ah. Holy crap. It's like raining Skittle over here. And it looks like the iPhone 10 is okay. Okay, here's the slow-mo replay. Kadoosh! It just hits the iPhone 10 and just explodes. I'm gonna play that back frame by frame. Kadoosh! It just explodes outward into like a billion little pieces. That is disappointing. I thought the Skittle would kick that iPhone's ass. It did not. This time, we'll try three Skittles instead of one. Last time we were shooting at 2,000 frames per second. This time we're doubling the ante up to 4,000. That thing happened so fast we barely got to see it. Hopefully we can see a little bit better this time. The thing is, it's a cloudy overcast day so you can't shoot at very high frames per second when it's this overcast. So, all right, here we go. Three Skittle Roonies. Three, two, one. Holy crap. Ow. And it looks like the iPhone's okay. What the heck? All right, let's take a look at the slow-mo. Something really wacky's happening. This is a piece of the Skittle right here, but it's like running away from my hand. I'm like magnetically, electrically charged or something and it hates me. Okay, here it comes. Good I think I know what happened. The red Skittle hit me in the hand right here. You can see I've got a Skittle imprint. When I launched it, the red Skittle fell down and hit my hand, bounced off my hand, and hit the chair to the right. I am definitely gonna be bruised from that Skittle hitting me. If I play it frame by frame, you can see the red Skittle coming after the fact. The green Skittle nails the iPhone, shatters. The purple Skittle misses the iPhone, hits the chair, and then the red Skittle follows up and hits the chair, and it's just raining Skittle everywhere. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time with a frozen Skittle. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, frozen Skittle, here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, did it break? Oh my goodness, what is this? It didn't break, but it left a sugar mark on it from the Skittle. That's so funny. Okay, here comes the Skittle and kadoosh! You can see the deposit of sugar it left on the iPhone 10 display. Pretty freaking epic. Now we know that an iPhone 10 can totally survive a Skittle being shot at it. It's a little bit surprising because a little fleck of gold was able to break an iPhone 10 display, but a Skittle, which has quite a bit more mass, is not able to do it. And I think that's just because the Skittle is too brittle, came apart on the impact, didn't stay together and kind of thrust all in one spot. This thing hit and exploded like a micro water balloon. Now the iPhone 10 screens are supposed to be more reinforced than the previous generation of iPhones. I wonder if a Galaxy S8 can survive a similar test with a Skittle. What do you think? Should we do the test? Post your opinion down in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and give it a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Brandon out. Woo! 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 Make it rain! Make it rain! Call him a song, call him a song